Colette, thank you for waiting. How can yeah, I help you? Hi, uh, doctor. And I have a question. My father is in the hospital. He went from the nursing home to the hospital for uh, lungs infection. He wasn't able to breathe hard, and he was breathing hard. And they put him on um, antibiotics. And also, uh, they told me that he's been he had uh, the MRSA. He had MRSA. And, uh, last week, you were talking about lasix, something that is not good, and. Uh, I did not get the whole uh, picture of what you were talking about uh, about it. Well, we were talking about rosacea last week and bacteria that's in the intestinal system. And yeah, that's so, so specifically, what, what would you like to know about what's going on with your father? Do you have a specific question? Yeah, well, he, he has been given uh, antibiotics. His body is swollen up and... Uh, and uh, uh, because it's swollen up, it says because uh, blood pressure is going down and that they have to give him fluid, and then they are giving him lasix to uh, to drain the okay. When fluid. They, okay, when they give him Lasix, Lasix is going to take out a lot of minerals out of the body, including potassium, and his energy is going to be depleted even much more so. The, sw yeah. the swelling can be due to many different things, but without knowing specific conditions about him, it's very difficult to tell you, you know, really what's taking place. Uh, in an older person, when you have swelling, uh, you, you start thinking congestive heart failure, you start thinking kidney problems, and you have to begin to uh, define which ones that is, as well as other medications that he, uh, he may, uh, may be on. What I would tell you to do, again, uh, write me at resultcare.com uh, or call the office at 703-698-7117. One of my doctors will talk to you and consult with you specifically and see if we can give you some information that might be useful. Collette, All right. Thank, thank you Thank so you. Much. I appreciate it. And Chevy Chase, how can I help you? Would you uh, be able to, between the two of you, give us a prescription for the uh, posturing, the head first posturing, you know, where you lead with the head, 60-year-old man, and uh, just trying to figure out how to, which type of doctor to go to. Nobody seems to notice this, but what? it's very aging and it's very... Oh, you mean the, the postural slump that an older person gets into? Yes, but, okay. but only in a 60-year-old. Okay, well... Where, where the head first, it's almost like the head juts forward. Well, that's an, that's an old age pa uh, pattern and posture that people get into when their energy in their body begins to deplete. Uh, when, when the life force in the system begins to diminish, you see the body begin to go back into almost uh, a walking fetal position. The head's down, shoulders down, chest is down and it gets worse over time. The, uh, the problem is, 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 a, is not just postural, it's energetic. And mm -hmm. you, you have to look at where the patient is relative to their diet, whether they have uh, structural imbalances, nerve root irritation. You also have to look at uh, what their, their acupuncture system is doing. The kidney chi, kidney energy in the body, controls life in the body relative to Chinese medicine. And when that's depleted, you begin to see that postural pattern take place. So mm -hmm. is, it, is it reversible? Is it fixable? Yes. But you have to look at the entirety of the body. Uh, Dr. Scott, you want to talk a little bit about postural and exercise that might be uh, beneficial to this person. I, obviously, we're just dealing with one side of the triangle, but uh, that's something that you can, can talk to. Yeah, on the structural side, what you want to do is uh, the one part, like usually what happens, everything's coming forward and down, so what happens is all those are getting trapped, those muscles are shortening up, and just being reinforced. Like Tom was talking about, as the energetics get affected, it's going to be more and more tightening in the front. So you're going to do two things. On the front side, you want to stretch things out. You want to get that neck to open and stretch. You might even bring your head back and then to the side and help stretch those front neck muscles. And then stretch the front chest muscles also, the pec muscles especially. And you can do that in a corner stretch. You can basically put your hands in three different positions and kind of work that that way. But if you can only change position, you can be also working on strengthening on the muscles that are weak on the back side. So it's a two, two, it's a two edged sword here. You've got to stretch one side. You've got to strengthen the other if you're going to make some differences, along with, again, the energetics. You've got to put the whole thing together to make that work well. And I hope that gives you a little bit of help, but it's a matter of, of stretching and uh, getting them into a postural it correction. Does. But if we can be a further help, please let us know, okay? Thank you. Thank you. This Wednesday evening, Dr. Scott Lamp will be your host at the Rizal Center for Healing. If you'd like to attend, he's going to be talking about...
pain that is caused by your posture position over computer with cell phones, all those things, and it's preventable. The problem is that when you get yourself caught in that paradigm is that you can not only experience just soreness and stress in the neck and shoulders, but numbness and tingling and knee pain and headaches and vision disturbances and so forth. Yeah, here's some of the main things I'm going to be talking about there. The first thing is, do you have the right equipment? And that's going to be on an aspect. Number one, right equipment. Is it the right mouse? Is it the right the computer? What my setup is? We're going to talk about that. The second thing is, is how am I approaching that material? How am I approaching that equipment? Am I approaching it the right way? And a lot of times people will not approach the right way. The third thing, and then this is going to be a workshop. We're going to talk about certain things, the three body positions that are very, very important. But... You know, is there something I can do? Can I stretch? Can I do some things? Even if I'm caught in a situation where maybe I'm in a, a particular job that's tight quarters and I can't move, you can always do something like stretching. And the last thing, memory peg. Something to remind you to do something, get you out of that position. Something to take you, may even take a deep breath and relax your body down. And memory pegs are extremely important. We'll talk about that too. This Wednesday evening, Dr. Scott Lamp in our office with you talking about computer pain. If you'd like to attend, 703-698-7117. Also, follow us at resultcare.com, but more importantly, hit Facebook. We blog every day. And if you'd like to listen to this program and other programs that we've done, rosellradio.com. We're posting them there for you, and we're going to try to put every one of them up on the board so you can uh, have them for your re-listening pleasure and send your friends there, and there's going to be all kinds of really great items for you. I promised you I was going to talk to you a little bit about too fat and you can't get it off. Well, you know, a lot of you go out and diet and you do exercise and so forth, and actually you've, you've begun to learn how to eat properly, and that's a lifestyle situation. Any kind of dietary pattern shouldn't be a diet. It should be what do I want for my life, how do I want to look, and so forth. But you still struggle, you still can't get it off. Well, do you, do you know that there's recent studies in medical journals that are showing that there are two things, actually, that are causing you not to take the weight off, particularly in kids, our fat kids who are inside all the time, looking at computers, working at the keyboards. It's lack low levels of vitamin D3. That's right, that vitamin D3. Here we go again, but low levels of vitamin D3 and minerals. We're not getting enough vegetables in our diets. So we can supplement it and we can get vitamin D3, but you know in the summertime, throw your kid outside, you get outside, go for a walk, do the things you need to do. But in the meantime, we can fix that with vitamins and we can fix it with minerals. But the information's there and the evidence is, is straightforward. It doesn't lie. So many of you are deficient in vitamin D3 and minerals because of your diet and because of your activity levels. Welcome back. This is Dr. Tom Rizal. You've been listening to Dr. Tom Rizal live. We have been in studio this whole beautiful Sunday afternoon. My guest, Dr. Scott Lamp, who will be your host this Wednesday evening, February the 23rd at 7.30 p.m. He's going to be talking about computer pain, the pain that your computer's given to you, your cell phones that are giving you the discomfort in your arms and your hands, the immune systems that are breaking down, the electromagnetic fields that are bothering you, the migraines, the loss of memory patterns, the confusion. Yeah, they're all the result of bad posture pattern and computer exposures and all of those things. So if you'd like to figure out what to do about it and how to get it fixed and how to stop suffering, because I know many of you are and you're putting up with and you're taking all kinds of wonderful things to destroy your body the rest of the way, give us a call at 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117. And tell my staff that you would like to attend. And before I forget about it, I'd like to thank so many of you that came to our office last Sunday for Caring for Others event. Have a heart day. It was a great success. We appreciate it. We thank you. Caring for Others extends that appreciation as well. Only with your help can you help us do what we do and as well help others who have very, very limited resources. Caring for Others, as you know, is a charity, a foundation that provides not only scholarships to uh, young people who are going to uh, integrative uh, care schools, chiropractic, acupuncture, nutrition, but also provides health care, wellness services to those who can't afford regular care, let alone something that will actually keep them out of uh, places. Thank you again. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Dr. Scott, let's talk a little bit about 
the fix behind the the problem. You know, we've we've told people that this stuff is not okay. So let's talk about positions and posture and so forth. You know, things like you know where to where to put their their uh, their keyboard, how to position their body. Let's uh, talk about taking breaks and so forth. Okay. You're the expert. Well, the first thing is, is I think um, one of the things is the ergonomic norm is about 20 minutes on the break. Um, you can actually th- do things like maybe um, uh, Windows Outlook or maybe on your, com- on your cell phone where you have some type of memory key to remind you to sit upright. And this starts when you're talking about sitting up, but it starts from your feet and goes all the way up. And I think I'll just talk about a couple of things. One especially is the... Um, the head position, your eyes should be leveled to the top of the screen unless you have a very large, like a 21 or larger monitor. It should be the upper third of the screen. Your eyes should be there. Your head should be level, not dropping down and putting strain on those joints. The other thing is, is are your arms to your side? It doesn't take any energy with your arms or elbows at your side. Once you start initiating a forward motion or movement, you can be working against gravity and over time, over months, over years, you'll start to eventually start creating fatigue. And what we'll see with that is a myositis, which is a muscle pain, then the tendons get irritated, then the bursa, and then you get a whole bunch of problems there. So that's an important aspect. Posture pattern has to be very specific because it, when I sit at my desk in front of the computer, if my arms aren't equal with the, the workstation itself, I've... You know, or if I'm looking to the side, or if I'm turning my head to try to see material, it really needs to be right in front of you. It needs to be in a in a place where it's not going to stress your body. Your eyes need to move away from the computer on a regular basis. You need to look at other things. That strain that builds up causes contraction in the back of your head, and the most common. Uh, cause of any kind of headache is what we call muscle contraction headache and those are the muscles right behind your skull and the upper portion of your neck and then pretty soon they move the bones out of place we call them subluxations and then they cause the nerves to be pinched and irritated it's really important we're seeing more and more problems and i know that you're going to get into the electromagnetic fields and how they affect the body and and the different types of symptoms the hormone related patterns when you're in front of these screens all the time it affects organ systems uh, called the pineal gland which in the hypothalamus which are in the brain and that is uh, those those areas are, are some of the most important regulating uh, control mechanisms that have to do with hormone function. We see a lot of women today who are having very serious problems with that and the estrogenic exposures from the electrical fields as well. Yeah, it's quite, quite con- uh, considerable. And you think about the, the whole thing with electromagnetic fields is distance is one of the best things you can do is how far distance are you right on top of your computer or far away. We talked about earlier having the laptop sitting right on your, your uh, lap. That's pinpoint. That's going to be it's 20 times the amount of EMF that you would have if you had it up on the table and away from the desk. It's, it's devastating. Let's say it's a problem that if you continue doing what you're doing, it's not going to get better. It's going to get worse. But Dr. Scott's going to teach you how to make it better. This Wednesday evening, give us a call, 703-698-7117. I want to give a shout-out to the rest of the Bobcats. Keep on stretching. Hope you have a great year this year. <laughs> See, I let you have it. <laughs> We're here every Sunday bringing you the best information that we can in integrative care so you can change your body without drugs, without surgery, and get your wellness quotient back to what it's supposed to be. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. See you next Sunday at 12 noon sharp. Be here. Bye.